welcome back. I hope you're having a lovely day and a lovely week. Welcome to a very sleepy morning in my life. If you haven't got one yet, grab your favorite drink, get cozy, and let's spend the morning together before a day in the office doing my favorite things. No screens, no distractions, just a cup of tea and a great book. something like that and I need some caffeine so before we talk through our morning let's get ourselves a cup of tea. is definitely too hot to drink but i need it way too much i am on a mission for the next few weeks i've basically got like three weeks left of my nine to five before my contract ends and i'm out in the big wide world for however long until i get a new contract and a new job and i want to make sure that my routine is like on point for when that comes around i want to make sure that my discipline is in a good place i want to make sure that my structure is in a good place so that when I don't have the structure of a nine to five, I'm not just like free falling into chaos. And I just know that that won't be good for my mental health. I know that like, I don't feel good when I don't feel like I'm in control of what's going on. And I also wanna make sure that when I leave my nine to five, whilst like I'm in a really lucky situation where I don't have like children and Cameron and I are like relatively responsibility free, like we have a mortgage, but because we don't have any dependents, this is a nice time in my life to be a little bit risky and to live without a solid nine to five for a period of time. If I'm being completely honest, see if I can make some money from YouTube before I go back to nine to five. So I also really want to maximize my joy and my happiness and my enjoyment during this time. And I just don't feel like I've cracked my mornings yet, so. My new plan is to start waking up at 5am so I can read my book because that is something that is bringing me so much joy at the moment. Getting up at 5am to go to the gym is like not for me, it just doesn't work. So instead waking up at 5am to read today, I've also got a day in the office today so to be honest on office days I never get up this early, I always just get up, get ready, get out the door and I wanted to see if I could really make the most of my mornings even when I know like Gosh, I'm actually, I'm actually tired just thinking about it. But when I know like I've got a more intense day in the office, can I still maximize my mornings? Anyway, I'm now going to sink into my book. I think having something you're excited about for waking up early literally makes all the difference. Like every time I've tried to wake up at five to go to the gym, that literally has not worked. And I've woken up at five to read my book and it was so much easier. I'm 86% of the way through the final Crescent City. Um, I'm gonna leave my review on Crescent City for another video, but I'm really enjoying the entire series. Am I the only person on the whole of the internet that is enjoying Crescent City? I literally think all three books have been great. Not all three books have been like as good as Mist and Fury from Akatar or like as good as Kingdom of Ash. But like, I think these are really good books in the mass universe. Like I've genuinely really enjoyed them. Anyway, I talk about them another time, but I'm 86% of the way through. I'm 86% of the way through, gosh, I can't even speak. I also wanna see like how much I can read in the mornings. So I'll keep you updated with my reading progress. I'm currently, as I said, 86% of the way through. 
and on page 816. So let's see if I can get this book finished by the time I go to work. That might be a bit of a push, I might have to finish it on the train, but I reckon I've got like an hour of reading left. Let's see how we go. outside and it's so pretty well there's not like an actual sun you know what i mean like when it starts to go all like properly hazy and it's light and oh it sounds like it's gonna be such a nice day it's now like half past six i don't know how the time has gone past so quickly my heart is literally racing <laughs> i don't know how sarah does this and like the last 20 percent of her books is always so intense i'm now 89% of the way through and like I'm right in the throngs of battle but I literally had to take a breather from reading because I was like I'm gonna have a panic attack <laughs> I also I've probably got another half an hour before I need to start getting ready for work um I actually don't have an early meeting today so I can get into the office at like quarter past nine so I just need to get the train that will get me there for them but Anyway, I'm going to get back to reading, but I'm 89% of the way through it's all kicking off as it always does at this point in her books and I'm hooked, I'm well and truly just gobbling it up. And so far, I can confirm, this has been an excellent way to start my morning. Even if I'm still so tired, I feel like I need a coffee rather than a tea, but I didn't want to start with the coffee. It's like a massive hit of caffeine first thing in the morning, but got my candle. Maybe I'll get myself another cup of tea for the next half an hour. Sun's coming up, reading my book. Oh, I honestly feel like I'm going to want to do this every single day. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but those of you that have read it, are they talking about who I think they're talking about? From the other place? That's so vague, no one's gonna know what I mean. Oh, it's the Easter eggs. Oh my gosh. If Taylor Swift was an author, that's Sarah. There's so many Easter eggs that she just leaves like sprinkled throughout the books and you're like, wait, is that that from that thing? I'm screaming. Oh, so painful, I haven't finished my book. I really wanted to be able to finish it before I started getting ready because it's just too much torture to be so close to the end. But anyway, we have to go into the office. So I've got myself another cup of tea, which I'm very precariously holding with my water because I have not drunk enough water so far this morning. So another cup of tea, time to get ready. Oh, I forgot to turn my light off when I woke up this morning, but thankfully I've already pretty much made the bed. I did that straight away. How I did that at 5am, I've no idea. <sighs> so far I have very good things. <sighs> Sorry, so far I have very good things to say about 5am mornings, apart from the fact that I'm definitely tired. <laughs> but I think you need to get into a bit of a routine of like going to bed way earlier so you can get up earlier. But anyway, I'm absolutely loving the book. If I could wake up at 5am every morning to read, that's the dream. Maybe, maybe that'll be next week's video, seeing if I can sustain this for a whole week. Anyway, time to get ready for work, we need to get into the office. today i mean it's very basic i'm literally wearing like a long sleeve black t-shirt and then i don't know how well you can see <laughs> you probably can't <laughs> let me see if i can lower the camera that's probably not any better and then i'm just wearing like classic zara wide leg trousers trainers and then even my coat today is very casual but i'm not really wearing a jumper but i just don't really have any like major meetings at work today so yeah i wouldn't be wearing my coat anyway but in a meeting <laughs> so Oh, maybe the 5 a.m. has addled my brain. But yeah, we're going very comfy today because I don't feel like it's a serious office day. It's just kind of like going in to see people and do the office thing, you know, and just mingle. But honestly, the weather's so nice. We're even taking sunglasses with us, which is an absolute dream. Right, I basically just literally need to get out the door. What is my bag? Okay, so, so we've got laptop, notebook, mouse, water bottle, charger. Headphones, I don't know if we have headphones. Got my phone, got my Kindle. 
I've never been so grateful for such a long commute. I can now sit on the train for an hour. <laughs> but then I'm also like, is it like disrespectful to finish the Sarah universe, like sat on a train, you know? I feel like I need to be at home, like hunkered onto the sofa to do it. I know it's not the end of the universe because more's coming, but you know what I mean? So far, okay, perfect. Oh, wallet, I forgot wallet. Right, wallet, headphones, check. Let's get out the door. You know what I mean? I feel like because this is the end of all the books that are out so far, I've never had to wait for a book before, which I do stand by. That has a huge impact on your experience. Like I think I've really enjoyed the Present City series because I've been able to binge them. I think if you'd had to wait for each book to come out, maybe that's why some of the reviews online are more negative. Anyway, let's get on the train because I'm desperate to keep reading, even if maybe that's like, I should just be saving it for when I get home from work, but I just, I don't have enough self-control to do that. Anyway, let's get outside into the lovely sunshine and head into the office. racing so much from my stupid book and now I've had two cups of tea and now I've got a coffee but I couldn't resist walking past a blank street and also oh my gosh this coffee is the nicest coffee I think I've ever had in my life I'm shook <laughs> I'm shook at this coffee mm. oh my gosh if you're anywhere near a blank street you probably I mean it's so popular you probably already had this coffee but if you haven't had it before I had never had this before raised to a a blank street and this is their oh wait actually i think i'm gonna have to look up what this is called once so it's called their shaken brown sugar cold brew latte with oat milk and a sprinkle of cinnamon on top yeah i think i got that right there why are coffee names so complicated and i swear i know it sounds ridiculous but it's so good their shaken brown sugar cold brew latte with oat milk and a sprinkle of cinnamon on top it's so good <laughs> It's so good. And as you can tell, I've got way too much caffeine in me. Crescent City, I'm sorry. I must be reading a different series to everyone else on the internet. They must be different books because I think they've been so good. I genuinely think they've been so good. And the third book was so good. The ending, so good. I just think it's so good. Anyway, I'm now officially in the office. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my coffee. My first meeting is in about half an hour. It's 9.30 by the time I actually ended up getting in the office today. It's now 9.30. I've got my first meeting at 10 and then I've got a day of work, but I can confirm waking up at 5 a.m. this morning to read and just have like a really slow morning, even on a day where I have to go into the office was so nice. I wouldn't go as far to necessarily say as it being like my perfect morning, because probably like a Sunday morning is my perfect morning. But for a before work midweek morning, I honestly had the nicest time. Like I'm in such a good mood. I've had, I've got such a buzz. I'm gonna try and do this more often. I'm gonna try and do it more consistently. This was so fun. But have the loveliest rest of your day. And thank you so much for watching as always. And I truly cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys.